Well, calling all mac and cheese lovers, today's recipe is raising the bar on that dish of creamy goodness. It's going to be very Gouda, as I understand it. <laughs> uh, joining us in the CI Kitchen from the Bevere Cafe, we've got U of I student chef Emily Siebert. Welcome, Emily. Hi. How Thanks. are you guys? We're great. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm Tell excited. us about you before we jump into okay. the food. What are you studying? What year are you? I am studying dietetics, uh, which is food science and human nutrition. So I'm on the path to become an RD, which is a registered dietitian, um, which is kind of ironic because we're making mac and cheese. That's what I was going to say. That <laughs> doesn't, doesn't all have to be healthy. It's okay. Yeah. But it's comfort food at its finest. Yeah, exactly. And so tell me a little bit about what we're making today. Um, so this is shredded Gouda right here. Um, so it's... Uh, we've sh shredded it today, actually, so it's fresh, um, and it's just mac and cheese with a gouda sauce that we're going to bake it with uh, breadcrumbs. Okay. Now, it, uh, I'm assuming gouda is not the stereotypical cheese used for macaroni and cheese. That's why it this is, is different. Yeah, it is not, so it's a little, it's a little fancier. Okay. okay. Well, let's get started, and because um, I know we need to make this sauce, so yeah. uh, we're going to put it all in here. Yeah, so we're going to start with the butter. Okay. I can I dump. Mean, I can turn, to turn this on. Okay. Oh, here we go. You got it? Okay, so just a little bit of butter in there. Yep. I'm curious. Most things I can sort of decipher approximately what they are. I have no idea what this is. Is that you like some guess? onions or shallots yeah, or shallots. something? Yeah, shallots. Look, mm -hmm. it's huge. Well, they kind of have like that purple yeah, color do. right there. I, th I figured it wasn't seafoody, but it kind of <laughs> had that look <laughs> to it. That'd be weird. Bit, so. That is true. It does. Okay, okay. does this go in now yep. or later? Well, we can maybe melt the butter a little bit more. Okay. But we'll let that go in there. Butter's butter. <laughs> so being a dietetic student, yeah. where do you hope to end up after graduation? Uh, that's a good question. So after graduation, we do, we usually, you can go to grad school or you can do something called the DI, which is diet, stands for dietetic internship. It's kind of like applying to college all over again, but for an internship, it's scary because it's competitive, mm -hmm. but... Oh. Um, in terms of a job, where do you hope to land after whatever it is is complete is actually Still figuring that out. You should, some people can go like the clinical route, um, work in the hospitals. Um, I d ideally want to work with kids, like a okay. pediatric nutrition, oh. or maybe open up my own business. We'll see. I don't know. Well, well if you know how to make, make mac yes. and cheese, you're going to be a kid favorite. That's, That's Yeah, right. I guess so. Okay, we yeah, can dump this in. in there. Then you've got some other ingredients here that yep. are also going to be involved. What have we got here? So next, we're at flour. It's going to be a little thickening agent, I'm guessing. Yeah, you're is this, right. Is this making a roux? Uh, That's like the only yeah, so cooking <laughs> word I know. So with roux, uh, you can use cornstarch as well, and cornstarch is a thickening agent. You can just say no, agent. it won't hurt my feelings, it's fine. <laughs> but no, flour works as well. See how it's like getting sick so here? I was kind of sort of correct. Yeah, yeah. All right. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. We've also got some seasoning, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, so this is white pepper and salt. Ooh, white pepper. I know, I've never used it before until this recipe. Okay, but is this a recipe that you've created? Oh, I know. No. Some of no. our past... Um, guest chefs, oh, they yeah. tested out their recipes on us. Yes. Um, this is not. For my test recipe, I did a um, uh, chicken, like a Thai chicken lettuce wrap. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to do that, but it's kind of complex. So okay. All this right. is kind we of like easy. We like easy stuff. We do love easy. Is this more cheese of some sort? What is that? <laughs> that is um, milk and whipping cream. Uh, yeah, heavy whipping cream. Mm, that's Can I go in now? Uh, yes. Pretty Super rich. You know what? Yeah. Say yes. <laughs> the sauce I'm, it'll all be good there all we right, go there we and go. that was um you can warm it up on the stove too that's supposed to keep, stay warm oh, i just okay. put it in the microwave oh, okay <laughs> and um, then while we get this going and simmering yeah. you've got the gouda cheese like you mentioned and then you looks like elbow or no what kind of noodles are we using spiraling i, like it. I think they're elbow, elbow, elbow. i don't elbow really macaroni. i don't know my um Pasta? Yeah, I don't know why pasta. I don't either. It's all very confusing. Yeah. And then the breadcrumbs. Yeah, so, so uh, do they all just get dumped in a pot and you sort of layer them up? Or how does, how does the end part of this work? Okay, so once we're going to whisk in know. this uh, oh, cheese kind of slowly. You know what? I can do slowly. Do you want to yeah. slowly do that? You thing? whisk. I, I just yeah, kind of no, cool. dump slowly. Yeah, and then so it should like thicken up. Um, on I bet this would burn easily. No? Yeah, well, in the cafe, we make such a large serving of it. It's um, it's kind of an arm workout because there's so much cheese, and it's, oh, it bet. gets super thick, and it's really heavy. But we've never had, like, burning. Like, nothing's ever... All right, we're going to let you... Um, yeah. 
finish yeah. this and then we're going to eat it later. <laughs> if you want the uh, actual recipe now, we will share that with you. There's the Bevere Cafe's website. You can check out all the details there or go to CIliving.tv for a list of all the ingredients and how to make this yourself.